Stay tuned if you guys want to take a look at this brand new stick, the Kentucky Fire Cured Swamp Thing. Hope all of you are having a great weekend. This is Pete Stromier with For Pete's Sake Have a Cigar. I am presenting this cool looking stick. It is the Kentucky Fire Cured Swamp Thing. When I saw this stick, I knew I had to have it. Um, just the look alone on it is so cool. Drew Estate came out with this not too long ago, and they did a phenomenal job. Phenomenal. As far as uh, marketing this, as far as the wrapper, and just the cool look, how it goes from the nice brown original Kentucky Fire Key wrapper to what I believe is a Candela wrapper. Candela. And the smell of this is just wonderful. It is just like a campfire. Um, very pleasant. It's just like you're out in the middle of the woods and you just lit one up. Um, it's like the best datgum campfire you ever smelled. Very wonderful smell. Let's get right into it and see what the cigar actually holds. After cutting the cap off, look at this really cool green ring. Don't know if you can see that or not. It's inside. That is so cool looking. It's like a green gator hiding in the swamp. On the dry draw, I'm getting campfire as well, but it's a, it's like a sweet, very pleasant uh, campfire. Almost like a smoky sensation that you get with like a scotch. Um, that's what I'm getting right now. So the wrapper does taste just like the regular Kentucky Fire Cure to me, and I'm pretty sure that's the original uh, wrapper up there on the Kentucky Fire Cured. Wonderful first light. Uh, very thick smoke. Real thick. Sweet. Peppery. Earthy. Who in the wrong mind knows what earth tastes like? This wrapper. Um, when I first put it in my mouth, it is almost like a, not a cactus, but you know, you can, you can really feel the tooth on this one. I wonder if he's talking about my tooth. A lot of times people talk about tooth and how you can see it. Well, this one is legit. It has a lot of tooth on it and you can feel it on your lips. The first light on this stick is exactly like the regular Kentucky Fire Cure to me. I'm going to continue to go down through this stick and I will give you some updates and we're going to see how this wonderful new stick performs for us. I have always been a huge fan of Drew Estate. Drew Estate makes, in my opinion, some of the best three to ten dollar range cigars that are out there. Um, and I've tried a lot of their other cigars. There may only be a couple that I haven't tried so far, um, but this one, as far as appearance and taste, is uh, really good. If you like a smoky, peaty uh, type of flavor in your cigars, this one is right up your alley. And I think just the color of the wrapper. Uh, how it transitions from the brown to the green is a really cool conversation starter for whoever. Now this one, as far as flavors go, compared to the Kentucky Fire Cured, I don't think there's as much smokiness in this one. This one tends to be a little bit more toned down, a little bit more sweet than the regular Kentucky Fire Cured. Um, the regular has a lot more campfire components in it. Um, this has about the same sweetness, it's just a notch down and sweeter. So if, if the regular Kentucky Fire Cure was too smoky for your taste, try this one out. I think you'll find it very enjoyable. Ooh la la. It's got kind of a citrusy component to it. Pepper, a little bit of earth thrown in there. Retro Hail is extremely smooth. Very, very enjoyable, very earthy. It's an all around solid blend. I like this a lot. I just wanted to say a big thank you to all the men and women who serve our country. This Memorial Day, we are remembering you guys. Thank you so much for everything that you do. It means a lot to us. I just wanted to give a shout out to my good friend Caleb. He is on deployment right now, and he has been for several months. I think by the time he gets back here in about August, July to August will be roughly 11 to 12 months that he's been gone. Miss him a lot. But Caleb, thank you so much for your service. Thank you for all that you do. I'm enjoying the stick for you, buddy. 
and hope for your return home soon. After smoking this one down for a little bit, I've taken the band off. Look how cool the transition point is. It's just crisp. It's like they just chopped it right off. It looks so cool. And the other thing I've noticed with this one, it's a lot different than the regular Kentucky Fire Cure. It has almost like a Pop Rocks kind of feeling in your mouth. It has a spice that's in there. I love me some good Pop Rocks. Um, that is really pleasant. I love it a lot. So it kind of combines the Kentucky Fire Cure, but it's smoothed out, sweeter, and a spice thrown in. And I think really those are the big differences between the regular Kentucky Fire Cured and Swamp Thing. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you guys a little insider peek at one of the new cigars that's out by Drew Estate. Um, I really enjoyed this, so if you like the Kentucky Fire Cured or maybe you didn't, I think either way you'll really enjoy this stick. So get your hands on one for Pete's sake. Have a cigar. Do as the man says and get your hands on one. Sneakers.